Hey, what's up? My name is Jenny. Welcome to Divine Family Tarot. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for Libra. We're going to take a look at you and the person on your mind. Then we're going to look at new love for singles, next person coming in. Then I'll do a somewhat of a general kind of a prediction reading. After that, I'll follow it with advice and then I will pull an oracle card at the end. So let's get started. Just letting you know that if you are interested in a personal reading, go ahead and click on the description box below for my website information and how to book a reading with me. Make sure that you're only taking what resonates, leave the rest behind. Not every Libra is going through the same thing as every other Libra. So take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Very important. All right. What's going on with Libra and the person on their mind? What's going on with Libra and the person on their mind? How does Libra feel towards this person? Well, you're showing me here that you're kind of tired of repeating something with this person. Um, some of you have kids with this person or just a lot of memories. It doesn't have to be kids. Six of Cups represents kids. It also re represents nostalgia, family, stuff like that. So this could be somebody connected to you in that way. It doesn't have to be a love interest, but I am pulling love. So most likely it's love. Now, if you feel like this fits the description of a friend, or something like that, make it fit how it fits. So it kind of feels like you're not really interested too much. However, there's still a lot of attraction there. Okay, let's clarify this. Let's clarify this and get a little more into it. So this is something or someone, this is someone who you could have children with. I'm getting that again. I'm also getting that um, if you don't have kids, you're just doing a lot of reminiscing about the good times. A lot of like what happened. We had so many good times. What happened? Um, some of you guys are realizing that there was a third party in the mix. Take that if it resonates. If it doesn't, don't. You're kind of in a place where you're like, man, I've given so much to this. I've invested so much to this. What well, for? And that just popped in my head. How does this person feel about you? Clarify that. They're about to stir some stuff up when it comes to you. I don't know. Okay, so this person is showing me a very singular energy, very much wanting to be single. Not This person doesn't allow for love to come into their life. So I'm getting here that uh, they kind of played you. They're not willing to open up to this fully is what I'm seeing. Um, be careful around your work. I feel like this person might do things to make you miss work or make you late or there's something here about this person trying to manipulate you when it comes to the stuff like that. If you know your person is into witchcraft or anything like that, I know that's not going to be everyone. Um, just be careful that they're not trying to do something to affect your money because that's what I'm getting here. Something about money, very negative like that. Don't trust this person. It might be on your mind. You're here thinking about the good old days. 
How good were those days? I want to know how good were those days? That was fake. It's not that this person changed into this crappy person you know now. It's that they were always a crappy person. They were just putting out a facade for you. So those good days were fake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say it like that. It, it's not to make you feel bad, Libra. It's to wake you up. You need to realize when people are being um, different than their usual selves just to get you to attach. So make sure that when you're reflecting on those good times, you're also reflecting on the fact that that was not that person's genuine personality coming out. This person is not in a place where they want a commitment of any kind. I am getting the two of swords and the lovers. They're not welcoming to it. They feel like it can't happen. They're focused on their money. What's an outcome for this? I hate this energy. I don't like it. There's communication here with this person, a lot of sexual attraction. So if this person uses attraction and sex to kind of get back into your good graces, or maybe even trying to switch things up on you, trying to make you feel the one, trying to make you feel guilty for things, trying to make it seem like, well, you did this and you did that. That's bullshit. Uh, Wheel of Fortune here is is just showing me the same old thing. So there's like a guilt tripping thing here. Uh, clarify these cards. Man, this is ugly. I wanted to tell you all about how good things are going to be. But hey, it's real. So This person is going to try to offer you love again. Why? Their energy doesn't want it. But they are going to try to offer you love again. For some of you guys, I'm getting that it's because you some of you guys have a new car or a new house or you're working towards something like that. You're working towards being more successful. You have success coming in and it's like this person sees it and wants it. There's some jealousy here. What's this person's truest intentions towards Libra? Because I haven't pulled that yet. Intentions towards Libra. It's like they want to marry you. It's like they want to marry you, but they want you to chase them. It's so strange. It is so, there's so much illusion in this reading. It is so strange. Be careful with this. Some of you guys are already married and I'm seeing this person just wanting you to like baby them. I feel like this person is not working towards this at all. It might be all talk. And there's no action from this person because they're showing up as a four swords. So either they're using sex or they're just kind of just chilling and waiting for you to make this happen. So that's what I'm getting with you and the person on your mind. Be careful with that. My goodness. What can you tell me about this connection spirit? Let me use these cards for this. What can you tell me about this connection for Libra? Addiction. An addiction is affecting this relationship. It could be you if you feel like you're addicted to this person and no matter what they do, you can't get away or vice versa. Finances. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. This relationship can stand the test of time. It depends on what you want. Well, how much are you willing to deal with as far as standing the test of time? I feel like you've already invested a lot into this. Different pages, you and this person don't share the same vision. 
this person could be dealing with addiction issues. Doesn't have to be um, necessarily like real hardcore stuff. However, any addiction is bad. Any addiction is bad. I was ad addicted to food. <laughs> I want to say I was addicted. Like I don't have my moments where I go and eat a pint of ice cream sometimes on the couch, but like to self soothe with something to make me feel better about myself. That's an addiction, especially when you can't get away from that. People have their addictions. I feel like this person might have a little bit of a drinking type of addiction or shopping, something like that. It's not good. So that's what I'm getting. I wish I had a better one for you. Let's see Libra, the new person coming into your life. Who's a new person for Libra singles? New person for Libra singles. A new person for Libra singles. All right, Libra, this is coming in as something, it, it'll be here any moment. So if you don't know this person, you so, soon will. It's showing up as more of a sexual encounter more than anything else. Clarify these cards. Okay, this is showing up as something that could turn into something just sexual. It's not showing me anything committed. However, they will show up wanting commitment or talking about commitment. And then as soon as you guys sleep together, it switches up into maybe friendship or taking a step back is what it's showing me. So it's up to you if you want to engage, but if you do just know that it's not going to turn in, into anything because this person doesn't have any intention on more than that. It, it comes off very like wishy-washy, but it's not really wishy-washy. It's just this person talking about commitment doesn't necessarily mean they want it with you. And I'm not trying to make you feel bad, Libra. I'm trying to be as honest as I can in my readings. I need people to start snapping out of their illusions of what a good relationship looks like. Everyone has sex on the table. Sex is always going to be there in a relationship, <laughs> even when it's not supposed to be. So don't focus on that. What's their intentions with you? Yeah, they're offering some kind of a love kind of offer, like not making it seem sexual, but then they just kind of wait there for you to chase them. And they're going to wait there. They're not really going to make any movements towards you. It's more of a come in heavy with like, oh, I want a relationship and this and that and whatever, sleep with you and then kind of wait for you. Now, well, I, I, I did this with this person. Now I'm just going to wait for them to come to me. That's what I'm getting. Clarify that. That's trash. Clarify that. You're getting a lot of aces and you're also getting the three of swords here. I feel like this person could be still involved with somebody else. And the, really, the real intention here is if it's not money, it's the fact that they could be struggling with their money and they need something of stability to help them out. Um, this person doesn't want to be by themselves. I feel like they were in a long-term commitment and it didn't work or something that they consider long-term didn't work. And now they're tr tr trying to desperately get with you. I wouldn't entertain it because as soon as you do, they kind of turn their back. People do crazy stuff like that. So don't feel offended. It has nothing to do with you. In fact, it has everything to do with this person and their insecurities. Possible outcome for this situation. Possible outcome.
I see you giving to this for a little while and then realizing stuff and then taking a step back is what I'm seeing. Now you got all my new start cards. I'm, this person's really going to try to get something started with you and still play games. Clarify. Clarify the outcome. I'm getting like a breadcrumbing vibe. Yeah, this person is going to block you out. Some of you guys already dealt with this person, not everyone. But if it's not that you dealt with this person already, it's like this person kind of follows the same pattern as people you have dated in the past is what I'm getting with these cards. So once you realize that this is just some BS, I see you walking away from it. So, but I do see you entertaining it for a little while. And yeah, that's what I'm seeing for you, Libra, with a new person. I'm sorry I didn't have something better. Um, this looks like it's in your energy already or coming in rather quickly. So let's just move on to general. Wish I had something better for you. Just don't entertain things like this. General for Libra. What's going on generally for Libra? What's going on generally for Libra? There's some secrets that are going to come out into the open pretty soon if you're not aware of that. Right now, I feel like you might be in the energy of maybe taking a trip or may maybe you already took a trip because I'm kind of seeing this in the recent past is maybe taking a trip that kind of puts you down on your finances. I'm also seeing um, you could be waiting for communication from your job for something kind of feels like maybe more money or something along those lines. So there is some waiting there. For others of you, you're not working as much as you usually do, or you're starting to get back into it again. <laughs> it's such a weird way to say that, I know. So if you're usually working a lot, a lot, a lot, I see you kind of taking a little bit of a break. And if you're usually the type of person who doesn't work a lot, I see you doing the complete opposite and like hauling ass and really putting in some hours at the job. But I, I'm also seeing waiting on communication from work, whatever that means to you. I'm also seeing uh, some of you guys spending time at home, but really being i don't know being like emotionless at home like you don't show emotions at all you're just blah like being at home and being blah especially if you have someone in your home that you need to communicate with i'm kind of seeing it looks like a divorced couple definitely two people who don't really talk too much and you trying to ignore this person's communications or not i mean i will say try to ignore it but at the same time i'm seeing you like still listening 
and still letting it affect you to a certain degree where you're coming out as emotionless. So let me see what else I can see. General, what's going on with this money? Okay. You could be waiting on communication for possibly some kind of a promotion here. Um, and it's getting really heavy on you to wait for this. Some of you guys are waiting for overtime to be given. And it's like, I need that overtime money and I need it now. <laughs> so it's either or for your situation if you're not looking for a promotion. I'm also seeing you contemplating... Um, some of you guys are contemplating whether that your place of employment is worth it. I feel like you have a lot of work to do when you're there and you're not being compensated fairly is what I'm seeing. And it's like, what if I were to do something else? Clarify the four of wands. There's someone probably in your home environment that you're not you're not crazy about communicating with or restarting something with, but I'm still seeing the page of swords here. So you're still kind of watching this person to see what it is that they're gonna do next type of energy. Anything else? Anything else for Libra? Clarify. Some of you guys are going to meet someone at your job. It's going to it's going to be like, be careful with that, because I feel like this person might stir up some gossip about you. Um, it kind of looks a little toxic in a workplace environment. It does. It looks like this person and you might get it on and they're going to spread rumors. There's that kind of an energy here to it. So if you know that there's someone you're attracted to at work. And you don't want your name out there. Don't do it. Simple. Don't do it. So that's what I'm getting, Libra. That's so specific. I'm sorry. I think that was funny. I know I've messed around with, you know, people at, at work to a certain extent, you know, and I'm like, why did I do that? That's stupid. <laughs> that is so stupid. Anyways. Good, the good old days when I was younger, not now. All right, let's get some advice for Libra. I feel like that reading was kind of sad. I'm so sorry. I wish I had a better reading for you when it comes to new love and the person on your mind. Anyways, let's get some advice for Libra. Let's get some advice for Libra. Ghosted, take control. Okay. Hot and cold. Positive change. I'm taking them. Meaningful coincidences and healing old wounds. Go sit and take control tells me that in relationships, and this doesn't have to just be romantic, but I do specialize in romantic relationships. Um, you have the tendency to let other people be in control. They message you when they feel like it. And if they ghost you, you might go ahead and entertain them later when they feel like messing with you again. So you might go ahead and allow people back into your life who you don't need to do. You don't need to be allowing back into your life, especially with hot and cold. Like that is all giving me that scenario. Like you let people kind of come and go as they please. Positive change, meaningful coincidences, and healing old wounds. 
that's telling me that you need to take control of situations like this. You need to have some boundaries for yourself. And when I say boundaries, I mean, you know what? If you see someone ghosted you, don't let them back in your life. What for? You don't need them. They didn't need you. They didn't need you. They just walked out on you. Okay, let it go. I'm not going to preach about forgiveness like that. There is forgiveness. Forgive the fact that that person ghosted you and they missed out on a really amazing person. Forgive them for that. Damn, you messed up. You just don't know how good I am. You don't know how much I bring to the table and you don't know how valuable I can be. And you decided to ghost me. I forgive you and I will move on. It's not about holding it against them. It's about letting them go and not letting them back in. Real forgiveness doesn't mean you let someone back in to do the same thing. You just don't. So start taking control of the friendships in your life, of the people who are not consistent, people who play games with you. One minute they love you, the next minute they hate you. And start looking at it for what it is. When somebody shows you who they are, believe it. I feel like you might chase people like this. That needs to change. That needs to change. And don't let people who have done this to you chase you. You put a stop to that. That take control card is really standing out to me right now. And I'm getting irritated. <laughs> getting really irritated with that. So that's what I have for you. I'm going to go ahead and pull your Oracle card. I wish I had... A better reading for you, Libra, but I'm just irritated with this reading. I feel like you need to really weed out the people in your life who don't have your best interests at heart, who don't take your feelings into account. But first, you got to take your feelings into account. I got to be honest. In order for you to get rid of people who don't appreciate you, you got to learn how to appreciate yourself. So value your own emotions and your own feelings and your own intuition. And then that other stuff comes along with it. Give me an oracle card for Libra. Have courage. I feel like that's a good, that's a good message here for you. All right, let's do this. You are stronger than you think. Persevere and do not give in to fear. You have the full support of the universe. You are not alone. Believe in yourself and your strength. You can weather this storm. Even though you can't see it yet, there is a wonderful rainbow waiting for you on the other side of this trying situation. Right now, the most important thing you can do is trust in yourself and the universe. Dig deep within your soul. Keep focused on what is needed to move through or fix a challenge. Then step forward with positive intent. You have been through a lot in your life, and this obstacle won't stop you now. Stand firm. Draw strength from all that is important to you and be warrior-like. Know that you can do this. So, Libra, those are the messages I have for you this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed your message. Hit like. Share, comment, and subscribe for me. I would really appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next reading. Bye.